Guys, have you seen the footage from this shooting? Like, there are people out there that are upset that this cop killed this guy in some sense. Like, okay, watch, watch, watch this. <laughs> Where'd they go? Get back, get back. You see that crap? There are people out there who are like, well, he should have tased him. There, I mean, there's all kinds of like media, like, me, like have you seen the fucking articles on this? Oh, Please kill no, headlines. I, I have yeah. a list of headlines. Let me read these headlines. It's out okay, hold on. Video, officer running away while shooting man with knife. Fatal police shooting of man in Pennsylvania sparks protest. Lancaster police fatally shoots man after domestic disturbance call. Unrest erupts in the city. Deadly officer involved shooting in Lancaster sparks protests. Ricardo Munzo shooting. Protests erupt after Pennsylvania police kill black man. Protests erupt in Lancaster, Pennsylvania after police involved shooting. I can keep going. These are terrible. All of them are fucking terrible. Like every single one of them is terrible. And even after... The cam footage was released. They continued to protest because some people out there actually oh, aren't like they don't like this is the problem. Like I'm totally for protesting and stuff like that. But you need to know what the fuck you're protesting about. If somebody walks up to you out there, you need to be able to rep your fucking cause. Because if you can't, you make your whole fucking group look like shit. Because they're going to clip that and use it to discredit the whole fucking movement. What? Likewise, it, you need to know that you're standing up for something that actually stands up for your fucking movement. Like, there are people out there just protesting because it was a black dude. Um, and they don't, and they don't care that like, it, okay, all the time we continuously say it, you know, like if it's legal for, if it's illegal for us to do, I mean, if, if it's not, if it's legal for us to do, then it's legal for them to do. Like everybody gets to defend themselves. I don't like blue ISIS. Fuck them. They can suck my dick. Um, cry, no. cry more. Like, I'm glad that most of them are quitting at this point, but I'm not going to deny a man the, the ability to fucking defend himself, even if he is Blue Isis. That's bullshit. Yeah, well, you got two... Uh... And you have all these know-it-alls out there that are like, oh, well, you should have maced them. And I'm like, you... Okay, maybe you... But, like, I've been maced before, and I've seen people be maced before, and that shit doesn't stop anybody. I mean, it doesn't stop anybody who really wants to fucking take a swipe at you with a big-ass butcher knife. Two, fucking tasing... I just wish that somebody had, like, created, like, a nice, maybe I'll have to do this, a nice thread of, like, all the times tasing didn't work. Or made the situation just put worse. It there. Or like, made it worse, yeah. Um, so, like, I just... The well, whole deal here is, and it goes back to what we were talking about with uh, Mr. Dunn, is uh, we should be equal with the police. They are civilians. They are not above the law, and we're treating them as they are. These are men with guns as we should be. The only difference is that we have elected them as people in our communities to help policing, and that's not how it's being treated at all. They're being treated as angels that are here to be judge, jury, and executioners all in the same go. Fuck them. But in this situation, we're being the bigger people here. We're the last people to be called fucking – we're the last people to be on our knees sucking on the fucking balls of the cops. We fucking hate them. I, I, I cannot stress that enough. I do not like police officers. I do not believe there is a good one. I don't believe that there is any good ones. I don't give a shit what your reasoning is. If you were a police officer, active duty, you are not a good person. 
You need to be yeah. taken out of the force. You either need to be risking your life to expose all the corruption that's involved there, or you need to be leaving because you do realize all the corruption that's exp that is in the system. Fuck unless you, you're fuck. actually working, unless you're actively working against them as a form of praxis or something, because like I have met those cops, and like you be careful because they're gonna fucking get rid of you one way or another, eventually. They're a corrupt. Co they're typically corrupt cops or corrupt people. The point being is we're, we're being the bigger men here and saying that this individual is a man with a firearm and he has the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Yeah. This person came at him with a vicious weapon and he acted accordingly. If a police officer came at me with a knife or a firearm, I would treat it accordingly. This police officer is acting no different than any other individual with a yeah. firearm should have acted in that situation. And to those of you out there going, well, they're trained to be able to do that. They are not trained to be able to do that. Cops, they have not, they don't get that much training. If you've watched any of our fucking videos, one of the things that we have a problem with is the fact that they're under trained to enforce a law that takes fucking, you know, like eight years to goddamn learn. Like they are not well trained. They are shittily trained. They are not fucking ready for that. If they haven't actually gone out like and faced that kind of shit before in like the military or on the streets and in bad situations or whatever, they're not fucking ready to have a gun pointed at them by anybody and neither are you. And to act like they are is fucking unreasonable. Yeah, and there's two things that I, I think that should be brought up, but it's not necessarily brought up by uh, a lot of people in fact. The logical conclusion to a cab, you know, all cops are bastards. And a lot of people don't say that. I'm like, that's not necessarily a bad word to say. I the, see it. The logical conclusion is, well, if all cops are bastards, then I must come at them with whatever weapon I have, no matter what. And the other side is that you have, well, if you're going to do that, all cops are bastards. Well, you're going to have this blue mentality of I will shoot first and ask questions later. So what yeah. do you expect? And the flip side is that, oh, you don't expect police officers to defend themselves after someone's coming after them with a knife or a weapon? They say, okay, if that's the case, then you do realize that if if I myself want to be on your side, I'm going to go and say, I back the blue, and I back the blue by re having them resign. All of them should resign today to protect their lives. If yeah. they don't want their life, thrown out the window by having an ACAP person come at them, then they should resign. Their life should be saved. And yeah. therefore, no more violence continue. But no, you got police wanting to either resign out of, you know, you know, certain police officers, especially commanders. Well, a lot of them are doing it purely out of spite, and they're not even right. making a, a, they're not even making a show of it. Like, they're actually like, well, fuck you guys. Let's exactly. see how you do without us. And we're like, get the fuck out. We don't want you here. But you got the other side saying, well, if you're not going to leave, then we'll take immediate action. And the immediate right. action is, we're going to come after you with whatever weapon. Okay, sh cop shoots you. Therefore, now we get a protest. And to the ACAP people, do you not realize that the cops are getting stronger because of this? They're being oh, no. federalized by Trump now. And no, now you make right. the situation worse. So yeah. it's like, hey, the cops should resign and the ACAP people should shut up. That's my opinion. <laughs> well, I mean, if only it would be that fucking simple, you know. <laughs> exactly, but hey. Um, if cops would resign, then the ACAB people wouldn't have anything to yell about, though. And, and, I mean, I'm sure they'd find something else, but, like, whatever. They wouldn't um, protest about, you know, oh, all cops are pigs. They wouldn't have to protest about fuck 12 and all cops are bastards, you know, and all that. And there'd be no graffiti, property lost, or any riots. And, you know, Lancaster would not even happen. It's just... The Black people, Lives Matter protests could end because there's people, no more cops murdering anybody. It would be peaceful protests, but no, you have these rioters and these projectile pre people like, oh, okay, well, if we're going to do a cab, we might as well take it to the next step. And it's like, I'm coming after you. What are you going to do now? Well, guess what? A cab people. Trump's now federalized local and state cops. Guess what they can do? They can throw felony charges and put you in federal prison. Not that that's okay. It's, it's fucked up okay. that they're doing that. Still that don't fucking happened. comply, but know that that's what's fucking happening. Like, 
we it's getting pushed to the edge and i don't know how we can come back from this i don't think we can like honestly i i it would be nice but i just don't think i don't think it's gonna go back from this like a bunch of people are like oh this is gonna blow over and i'm like i wish that i had the faith that you do when I was younger, I probably did. Like, yeah, I remember. I remember when we used to argue because you were too uh, radical for me at times. But it like, all needs to burn. Now <laughs> I'm just like, fuck it, burn it all. Fuck burn it, up. burn it all. Just burn it. Now, okay, I have to be specific. Don't burn people's private property. Pro don't go private property is not the okay. government, you dumbasses. Yeah, what burn the, the government. What is the shop owner Stop. doing to oh you? Oh my gosh. He's not doing anything to you. In fact, if the government left, there's nothing anybody could like, you know, like people are, you, they use the government to do things to you. These fucking big corporations and shit like that. So like, I mean, take that out from underneath them. Take away their fucking safety nets and see what fucking happens. They bec they'll become more accountable to you as well i mean it's so that being said like and subscribe on our facebook <laughs> and twitter um if you like what we have to say um go ahead and click on our coin tree link and you can find all of our various medias where you can help us buy a wood chipper i think they cost about two to three thousand dollars and we're quite a far way away um if you really like us what you can do is go to our subscribe subscribe star i, I believe it is all the lights on and shit like that we would appreciate it if you go to our subscribe star and subscribe because if you do that especially in uh, i think it's the middle range you can actually get my erotica where i talk very dirtily to you about ron paul and Anne Rand, for example and uh if more of you subscribe to that i'll actually produce more content where you can really start jerking your meat to the idea of uh dead pedophiles and uh well most likely more ron paul things uh maybe even the boog moment maybe we'll get fucking mike dunn in there what's he gonna do sue me <laughs> oh my uh, thank you guys for watching uh please like and subscribe our content uh follow us on twitter uh we have all of our tags below uh really honestly like every if you can donate a dollar to us it really goes far mike and i are taking all the stuff and throwing it directly out of our pockets we need money it, it, it's straight up like we're we're, we're we're capitalists this is the free market if you like our shit spare five dollars buy me a coffee that's where all the money is going to is my coffee addiction um and wood chippers coffee and wood chippers that's where the money is going please like and subscribe and lubricant And Mike <laughs> lights up another block. Okay, thank you guys very much. We'll talk to you guys uh, next Monday. We should have more videos out pretty soon. Please yeah, buy a wood chipper. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's good stuff. I, I still beat it off to that.